scrolling through a lot of long-form videos but don't know how to make one. Well, don't worry. Today, I'm going to teach you how to edit a long-form video. First, let's see what are the assets required. You can pause the video here to see what are the assets you need. Like for example, you need laptop, transparent laptop, any video of Alex Hormozy, zoom screen overlay. Secondly, you need a script document PNG and a bulb PNG. And for the end, Alex Hormozy's homepage screenshot. So there will be a total of two scenes we'll be creating today. First scene will be this. And second scene, we will be creating some animations like this. Okay, so now we will be creating the first scene of this animation. And I will bring my asset here. Everything you can find it in the description. Also, if you want to follow along the After Effects tutorial for this animation, then you can check out my channel in my description. Okay, so I have brought in my laptop. Let's bring in my video also. Put it below this. Okay. Now I'll make it small so that it fits inside. Let me first extract the audio here. Okay. Yeah, this looks fine. Now I can just head on to mask. Add mask. And while selecting rectangle, I'll make sure it fits inside the screen. Okay. Make sure that it aligns perfectly with the screen so that it looks like as if it's coming from the laptop okay so now we have got this okay let me make this around five seconds okay something like that yeah so as you can see we have got this now we want to make this look like a zoom meeting so we will bring our zoom overlay okay and this also we can head on to mask add mask select rectangle and then or we'll just select split okay it's easier and i'll just put it here like this okay now i'll just zoom in and place this at the bottom of my screen okay now that we have placed them as you can see the first animation we do it right now so while selecting all of these just hit alt plus g to make the compound clip okay head on transform keyframe add blend keyframe go ahead again hit on transform and blend go to the first keyframe and scale it up like this okay and drag the opacity to zero now hit alt plus k to open this up then Select this line and select cubic out. Do the same thing with the blend. Okay. So this is over. Now to continue this, we'll bring in this image. Okay. Now what we can do is first as head on to mask, add mask, select rectangle, and then first let me zoom it in so you can see it properly. Now I'll be selecting reverse. Okay. So this way you can see this whole area is blacked out. Now what we have to do is bring in our text layer above that. Okay. And hit space. Head on to background and make it white. Okay. Let me just delete some spaces. Now you can just deselect uniform scale and decrease the width and height. Let me place it here. Just overlap this. Okay. Nothing too complex. You have to just overlap it so that the black part doesn't show. As you can see here. Okay. It's full white. So it's not looking like something is messed up. Everything is okay here. Now what we have to do is just let me cover up this hole. Select this all and drag it like this. Now I'll just bring another default text and while selecting the font SF UI, okay, I'll just write here 200k and make this, no, a bit grayish color and put it here. 
let me just zoom the seam so that I can place it more accurately. Now what we have to do is just you know go around 5 frames okay or 10 frames cut it and let me change this to 500 then go again 10 frames ahead and let me change this to 750 and like this okay Now we need to do another thing is I'll just bring in another default text, hit space again and then change the background color to yellow. This will be doing because of the highlighting effect. Okay, again we need to you know deselect the uniform scale and adjust this. Let me just you know zoom it in. okay this seems fine just extend this okay and can all plus g to make this a compound play now i'll head on to video and i'll select multiply okay and just head on here let me just you know make this opacity down so that i can see the settings yeah rotate this minus 90 put it over here okay hit on the keyframe of mass go here again hit on the keyframe of mass and drag it like this simple thing now is hit alt plus k and smoothen out the curves okay now I'll just increase back the opacity. Okay, so our animation will look something like this. Now the next thing we need to do is just select all of these, get R plus G to make it a compound play. Okay. Now a simple, you know, select this video, transform. Okay and go ahead and then hit on transform go to the first keyframe sorry go to the second keyframe and scale it up and place it here now just have to press alt plus k and hit k the curve Drag this out to make the keyframe animation smoother. So our first animation will look something like this. Okay, we can also head on to effects, search for vignette, place it on top. Okay, so that focus is here. We can also search for hazy and bring on the effect here decrease the blur okay that's it so this is our scene one which is over so now we will be heading on to scene p so for scene two what we do is first i'll bring in a default text okay hit windows press start key to open this head on to symbols and select the square now just you know select this Grayish black color. Okay. Let me keep this at the center. Just copy this and now just make this white color. Okay. And then put it below and just zoom this in a bit. Just place it like this. And okay. This is good. Now just select both of these and hit all plus c to make it a compound clip okay now we need to head on to Julio and just give it a bit of rotation to make it in the shape of a kite or diamond now i'll just make a poppy and then 
make it small like this put it around here okay now the sizing is okay next thing you have to do is bring in my context okay now take underscores key to make this line I'll place it like this to do some underscores put it here okay now we need to change the color to something you know grayish I'll just copy this line again and delete more and make this white okay place it over here then I'll be bringing another default text and this time I'll be hitting windows plus dot key and while heading on to symbols I'll just make this rectangle okay put it here change the color to something like this reddish color then copy it change the color to white and now we am like put it with the diamond i will just first put the color and give it a bit some adjustment okay now i just doing another text and i write something inside put this inside okay and just putting a pearl image which i have already provided in the description below this make this smaller okay now what you need to do is first i'll just select all of these and make it a pound pound clip so we can move them together i'll copy this hot pound clip and go inside it and then i'll replace this bulb with this letter and the text i'll write the pink ideas go back out and write this to the bottom okay now the animation is simple okay so first i'll be selecting this okay head on to video transform and yeah transform go ahead somewhere around here again it transform go to the first keyframe and you know just rotate it something like this and decrease the scale into zero now it all plus k and then you know select give the dot okay now at the same time select this okay and head on scale go ahead again head on scale now go to the first keyframe and make it zero get dot plus k and select q it out now we need to just select these head on to video animation and select fade and for this too i'll select fade in okay i'll select this line both of them and also i do a fade okay now this white line which is inside the big line just select that head on towards transform and go ahead drag this down here hit alt plus k and then q it out and in this journey these three will come so i just select these put it here head on to video animation and just do a simple pre-in animation
and for the end just do the same animation what we did here okay this just do the same animation for this and what you did this animation do the same animation for that and then the whole animation will be over so this brings us to the end of our second animation hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next